Alaska and think it's snow, igloos. We have that advantage. They don't know nothing, so let's show them. <laughs> what advantage? It is snow and igloos. This is what it do, it's your boy JC Reacts back with another reaction video. Listen, today, we got young Booty P inside Alaska's most dangerous hood. Bro, I didn't even think Alaska had hoods, bro. Whatever, you learn something new every day, right? Before we get into this video, you already know the vibe. Shout out to all the subscribers, day one, yeah, gang. I appreciate all you do for this channel, all you do for me. Thank you for continuously coming back and showing love to the channel, new people to the channel. Hopefully you find something you like, decide to stick around, become part of this family. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all the donations, all the cash apps, all the PayPal's. As you can see, they go towards the studio, help me give you guys better quality content. So without further ado, let's get it in. Let's get straight into this. Inside Alaska's most dangerous hood. Let's go. Look at me, I'm on. 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 Can't stop, keep going. My pops kicked me out when I was 17, bro. I was homeless, bro. I had shit, bro. Everyone in Alaska think it's snow, igloos. We have that advantage. They don't know nothing, so let's show them. <laughs> what advantage? What are y'all talking about? We have the advantage. It is snow and igloos. Let's show them what Alaska really is. <laughs> Wait, y'all want, hold on, y'all want to show us what Alaska really is on some gang shit? Like, who cares? <laughs> y'all want people to know y'all fuck up? Like, fuck up thugs? Like, I don't understand. Nigga Pootie. I wanted to do a video in Alaska because the majority of people, including myself, know nothing about it. So I went on to ask people, when you think of Alaska, what comes to mind? Um, weird. Probably a lot of white people. Probably a lot of white people. There's one of these. Meese. Meese. Cold as a motherfucker. Again, it's hella snow and birds. It's cold. You know, I don't know. Snow, yeah. Like, it's being dark all the time. It's probably cold. This ain't got no drip. Just don't want to come outside. You think there's a lot of black people there? I don't know. I was going to say no, to be honest. Do you think there's n****s <laughs> in the last couple? No. No. Not no n****s like us. Black people, for sure. But not no n****s. There's n****s. Nah, it's too cold. But I wanted to find out for myself, so I got in contact with the local rapper and traveled all the way right here to Anchorage, Alaska. Let's go talk with the locals and let's go see what's really going on in Alaska. Let's go. Yo, I can't believe this nigga really went to Alaska, boy. That's crazy. I know a few, I know a few niggas in Alaska myself, you know what I mean? But we, like, they in a military base in Alaska, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, not the street niggas. They got crutches. Tell them where we at. Tell them where we at. Right? I need the Fairview, right in the hood, right in the hood where I grew up. Bro, turn around this spot. My first ever house in Fairview it used to be green and not look nothing like that at all. Hell yeah. Same Lord off right there. You hear me? So, so the way I found this is like I was on TikTok scrolling, and then I think I saw your video. You was pumping yeah, gas, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. I was like, oh shit, Alaska. So I clicked on the on the page, and the next video was like niggas in Alaska. <laughs> I've never seen niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just saw black people, but I've never seen niggas. And I was like, okay, this lit. So tell us where we're going right now. This is the hood. This is the rec center. We used to come around here every single day. I used to live over there. It's the best part of the hood, though. Don't get fucked up. Oh. It's the best part of it. Yeah, red velvet. Red velvet me, here please. Hold on. Here you go, my good sir. Thank you. Bend the knee. Thank you for my goddamn milk. Now get the hell out. <laughs> Evil. Get out. You ain't getting none of this shit, nigga. Look 
So what if so Robin just bought me a one of these Ma, where are these from again? Sugar Shane. Yeah, Sugar Shane Cookie Factory in Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. It's a big ass, chunky ass. Hold on. Red velvet white chocolate. Oh, yeah. Okay. Shout out to Sugar Shane. What is this? This is Fairview. This is Fairview. I grew up right there, and then I, we literally moved across the street to these apartments right here. Y'all gotta know the outside point of view, right? The whole rest of the 49 states, they don't know that they're just like me. That is niggas here, right? Yeah. Do y'all ever feel isolated or like left out of, of the U.S.? But not in the U.S. I feel we, out of the music scene, yes, we yeah, get left out. We're not like everybody else. Like we got our own politics. Yeah, we different. Like, like we different. So okay. Like, 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 it's like a melting pot. We got every type of nigga here. We got niggas from Florida here. Got niggas from Chicago here. It's a melting pot. So it's, all y'all grew up here. Yeah, I grew up here. I moved here when I was in fifth grade, so I, I grew up here, but it's my home. How'd y'all end up here? Shit, you know what's funny? My dad's car was right there. My dad lives right here. My okay. Here. Hey, I ain't supposed to be up here, though, so you know. <laughs> you see number 12? That's my house. That's my second house. Oh, uh, we lived in here. And you used to run around here when you was a kid? Yeah, I used to do backflips off that fence. No cap. Uh -huh. when, we, when we sneak back in, I live right here. So let me ask, how did all y'all meet? I met Rose at the rec center. He used to come home, you know what I'm saying? His dad worked here. He grew up here together. Like, this one nigga that I've known that. This nigga Poopy got on them damn Kanye boots. Them Balenciaga big ass boots. I don't know how I feel about them. Take those off, my boy. Gotta see it through, my boy. Right, right. How did your family end up here? Oh, my family's not here. It's my dad. Okay, and how did... My mom came up here type shit. She from Chicago. She got pregnant when she was young type shit. And her <clears throat> type shit live up here. Uh -huh. So when my dad sent her out here to come up here, she just never left type shit. Like, like Damn, sugar shame. Where's her at? You feel me? She thought it was gonna be safer type shit. She thought it was gonna be a safer, better growing up. Yeah, but, but it was it damn near no. It was the same it's shit. That's the same shit. shit. Sounds like more opportunity. Like when you think of Alaska, you think of like mountains and cookie shit. Do y'all think there's more opportunity here? Yeah, for sure. Nah, like, nah, like, nah, like, nah, not like, like at a music. I mean, it all depends. Like from what city? Like about. if you're a regular person, civilian, like yeah, yeah bro, right. it's, it's it's them. Bro. A regular person, civilian, niggas. You a regular person? Shut up, nigga. All these rap niggas, bro. You don't want to be a thug so bad. You not thug, man. Y'all regular niggas in Alaska, bro. Senior, we get money. This is the place you can get money. Right, right. Like Everybody come to work. Money, they retire. They just feel me? Shit, you way. get paid to live here. You feel me? Uh, I heard of that shit. Three thousand dollars. You just got that thirty thousand dollars. Wait, what? Thirty thousand dollars. What is it? For what? Yeah, to live here. For living every every year. year, you get a check. But hold on, wait. Niggas get paid just to live here? Yeah. Not every month or nothing. It's the one year. Every the, year. But the shit, that's an extra 38 when you get it. So that's everybody. Right. Right. Everybody. Every year, every year. You, yeah. you always hear about that, like, oh, you get paid X amount to live here, but I didn't know, like, that was an active thing actively going on. Nah, yeah, and then think about it. If you got, like, 10 kids, right, you get a check for each one of those Damn. Kids, so it's 38 yeah. times 10. She might run up a bet. Oh, Damn, shit. <laughs> what, what's it called? A PM what? Pacific fund. Pacific fund. Pacific fund. Okay, yeah, that's lit. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 bro, I don't believe these niggas is gangster, bro. Like, it's okay not to be gangster, though. You know what I'm saying? But now they just look. It's too cold to be gangster there, bro. <laughs> It's too cold to be gangster. Uh, I just see a bunch of niggas, a bunch of young niggas trying to get a bunch of niggas to believe that they really thugs and gangsters like that. We don't care, bro. I don't care. <laughs> I don't feel I don't feel threatened at all. I feel like these are some good stand up young African American adults. They just seem like good people. They don't seem angry or 
They just seem like a bunch of kids that just, you know, are bored. You know what I'm saying? This shit is mad annoying. Everybody talking at once in no order. Hey, don't get a twist though. Don't get a twist though. This is the city. I'm in the village. Okay, never mind. My sister, my sister, sister. Hey, 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 sister. Just the time, now we on this homie. Dashboard, got his ass killed. I just pray up on him, flower set, all up on my wrist. What a herbal twist. Where we at right now? 1900 block. So this the neighborhood that you grew up in? Yeah, bro. Nigga said 1900 block. Back in the day, like, both five years ago, this bitch was jumping. Really? Jumping, like, just outside, like, you know, on the block. And damn near it looked like any other hood in any other state. Any other state, swear to God. That's why, bro, I'm left state type shit, shit just fell. I was able to adapt to any environment type shit. I didn't met every type of nigga already. What do you got to say to, like, people who just, like, watching and think that, oh, Alaska ain't hood or it got no That's anywhere. That's anywhere you go. If you go anywhere in the country or in the world, like you a super tough nigga, somebody, I guarantee there's somebody stronger than you, more physically fit than you, that will beat you up or kill you. Come on, man. Exactly, exactly. What that story you don't want to tell no more, man. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, 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 it's Woodstock for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, it's so many different people that like you don't get to see in LA. Well, especially out here, man, it's, it's a collection of everybody coming. In. You got people from the South, the East Coast, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The island. And it's, it's just a mesh out here. So yeah. you're going to find a little bit of everything over here. How'd you end up here? Family. Decided to come out here, stay out here. Something about that, that dividend. You know? Yeah. yeah. This nigga said he moved to Alaska for an extra three thousand dollars a year. These niggas get two um income tax checks. All right, my baby Cisco, y'all already know what it is. L.A.M. in the building. You know what I'm saying? From Cali up here to to the, the northwest coast. So you from Cali? Yeah, yeah. You're from Long Beach. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. I see you repping out here all the way over here. So how do you how do you like staying over here and compare to living in Long Beach? I mean, as as far as like you know, obviously the weather is like, yeah, that's changed, but it's just as active. Yeah. Know? The only thing is, is that it's so small. Yeah. Alaska is the hugest state, but we're not populated like that. So right, right, right. Ain't really nothing to do, especially right. in conditions like this. And not many people like willing to come out here. You yeah. Like like. like Nobody really think nothing, nothing shit out here. They scared. They right. scared. Yeah. I'm not trying to come up I here. I mean, and, and like, they not really ready. He dragged. The nigga in the brown is dragging it, bro. Nobody's scared. We don't like the cold. We don't want to live there with y'all. And now that I know y'all out there, I definitely don't want to come down there because y'all annoying. Y'all want me to believe y'all so big and bad. Maybe a few of y'all are. I don't, I don't care. I don't, even, I don't even plan on being in the hood with y'all. I'm not moving to Alaska for $3,000, nigga, get a job. <laughs> yeah, they really I came out here to learn. learn. A lot of these questions are genuine. Like, I'm out here learning shit. No one really, you know, Alaska, what? You know what I'm saying? Penguins full of business. Yeah. Nah, it's just like the y'all saying the local gang. So, did the big artists ever come over here and do concerts or anything? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? So he hey, stars, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're playing against the niggas too. You feel me? So yeah. like, that put a lot of spotlight on Alaska just in general. You just be like, damn. Niggas is hooping too. So then it's like, damn, what else can we uncover to see what's out there? You feel me? Where do y'all feel like is the closest city or state? To Anchorage. Seattle. 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 It's like it's like the same culture and vibe. So you from Long Beach? How how similar you think Long Beach is to Anchorage? Obviously, LA got their own different politics. Exactly about it. Yeah. yeah. You got the people. The only difference is like niggas ain't on the block. Like niggas is not like we don't get outside. Yeah, because it's free. Yeah. yeah. But it's like it's the same shit going the on. Same just shit. Like anywhere else. For sure. For Plus, sure. Like, said, it's like the only city out here, Trey. Right. But just being the only city, if anything happens down here, Trey, everybody knows. And then if like any nigga start. Like everybody know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't even going to the gas station no more. I love it, but I hate that shit. You walk to the gas station, nigga, be like, hey, grab you one. Ain't it wild? Cause like niggas might not think that they big and compared to the numbers of the rest of the world, but when you got that city love, yeah, like yeah. that's enough to where you like a, a local superstar and they yeah. get in your back until shit. You know what I'm saying? Has there been any like big artists to cross over, like mainstream or like semi mainstream? You got, like, you got Duckman, you got Tay Tarantino, you got Treasy, you got. Uh, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure there's so much you fuck around with. Nah, nah. Oh, damn. Shit. Like, they all got their own politics. Politics. Yeah. Because Anchorage probably is where you're going to find. So, look, they go like this. Anchorage, you probably going to find, like, you know what I'm saying, your everyday, like, hood niggas, niggas that's doing, you know what I'm saying? But then you go to, like, Eagle River, there's niggas there, but not really. And then you go to Wasula, it ain't really no niggas out there. I was in high school, I was the only nigga in there. Damn. Yeah, it's like, because you was way out. Yeah. And the black kids in Eagle River damn near white type shit. Is it crazy to y'all, like... Oh, they just don't gangbang. They not white. They just don't gangbang. They just don't care for the shit y'all do. Standing on the block in the freezing cold, talking about thug politics, sagging your pants. That shit is corny, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then y'all see how normal it is. You want to go somewhere? You like, damn, nigga, I gotta go all the way to Cause you know, in LA, you can just go to, you know what I'm saying? You can probably drive to Yeah, bro, Vegas is an hour flight or a four hour drive. You know what I'm saying? You gotta hop on that bird, my nigga. It's the food market, bro. You come in, get your stuff, a little frozen food over there. Whatever you want, you come eat it up. Get me, come over here, get your drink, bro. You know about the food market. It's not fair for you, bro. We in here every Oh, man, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia right now, man. If you don't know about Walmart, then you ain't from here, man. You ain't one of the real niggas. If you don't, if you don't shop at Walmart and heat the food up at Walmart, you don't know shit about out here. So, like, it's like Nissan something quick, whether it's like grocery or whatever, you got food heating up. Oh, shit, you got clothes, you got hookah, jewelry, you know what I'm saying? This ice box mixed with the mall, mixed with Walmart, mixed with the damn smoke shop, all in one, bro. Okay, yeah. You know, this how it is when you go anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah, niggas was in Detroit. This is like a bodega. For real, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same same vibe. Hey, even got samurai swords, bro. You want to get yourself a nice little bunch of Okay. <laughs> and we got ice box with this too, bro. We got the APs, got the rollies. Let me look at that screen on this poster. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I think I see you up there. The hell you do? Ain't that you right there with the braids and the glasses? The yeah. Shit, you got a book? You come on, too. I got heads. All right, never mind. Thank you. Now, get up here. I'm getting it. I get lived it. up here five years ago. Fresh start. Fresh start. Get the hell out of Colorado where all the fucking dumb shit is. I like it up here. My husband and I don't have no family up here. So Money back, yo. Smash your pass. The earthquakes we have here, it's a little 48. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, Was that E-word you said? Yeah, yesterday. Earthquakes. Yeah, we have here. I got it. What is it? Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. At the military base, too, they went off yeah, that's regular shit though. That's regular shit. that doesn't have like a basketball team or football team to rap. I know like New York, Knicks, it's 
huge on it. New England got the, the Patriots, like they like big on it. LA Lakers, like is it is, is that weird? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Does like, make us feel a little left out. Yeah. So like who's the love out here? Does the whole state as a whole agree to like root for one thing? Niggas be beefing about this for real. Y'all feel like it's harder to blow up in a music scene? <laughs> Yo, imagine being from Alaska. And y'all niggas is beefing over sports, like real life beef. Like, yo, nah, the Miami Heat is trash. Nah, fuck you. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Yeah, it's the it's Seahawks, Seahawks. It's crazy. Being all the way out here or easier because you got a whole state behind you? It's harder because it's harder for us to get out there, but we have an advantage because nobody knows nothing about Alaska. Yeah. So as soon as they hear something about Alaska, it's like clickbait. They want to go click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do artists ever, like, come here on tour? Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie. They come through, but they don't show as much love. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we hear what you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, they come, they do their show, and they leave. I want to hear, like, some of y'all, like, music and shit. Is there, like, a studio over here yeah, or something? Yeah, we got Icebox Studios. We can go up there. All right, but... Alaska music scene, kind of like a drill scene, in my opinion. Okay. That's what niggas is listening to out here. Very diverse. You gonna hear a little bit of everything, to be honest with you. You can't put a stamp on, oh yeah, they got this sound. We got a multiple sounds. I think we're distinct from everybody else because of how many people just come from different places. The rap scene in Alaska is building for sure. There's a lot more artists coming out to work. I'm not gonna say a lot of them are good or not. Yeah. That's everybody else's opinion, but there's definitely a lot more artists who are trying. You feel me? Yo, it kills me because these dudes sound like just smart dudes. Like regular decent guys. Why y'all want to be thugs for? Like that's that's the, my only issue. I, the video is fun, like everything is lit. But why do y'all want to be thugs? Like I don't understand. Like you don't have to do that. Like they none of them ain't say like they felons and they, you know what I mean, they out there for a fresh start or nothing like that. They just said they moved there for the three thousand dollar check. And it's not really making much sense to me. It's not cool to not trust. Like, you got stuff from the South, you know, me from the West Coast, and definitely, like, Chicago, Detroit. So it's very diverse. It's like a mixture. Like I said, it's like drill, but we also got our own sound, like, with the way niggas rap, in my opinion. And also the way people talk, like, our pronunciation. We don't got heavy accents out here, especially if you're from Alaska. Like, me, I don't got a heavy accent or nothing. You feel me? I feel like I'm grammar or whatnot. If you had to compare Anchorage sound to any other city, which city would it be? L.A. or... Some some Detroit. I mean, it's That's really cap. Impressive. I don't hear no LA, bro. I can't say like we all Hello. just fuck with one thing. I really can't say that. Yeah. To be honest, it's a, it's a mix. Detroit, and Chicago, put together. That's the sound. Damn, what's that nigga? Damn. Okay, you better see all the knocks. That's just crazy shit. It's Malvi, man. I'm not gonna predict it. And like, you grew up over there? I was somewhat, I'm from Fairview. Malvi and Fairview is like uh, opposites and shit. It's like, it's like the hood, like basically any other hood, what you think it was. Hey, y'all should tell me what y'all used to do when y'all was kids in Malvi. Kids be up some miles or something. That's crazy. Did y'all used to do that? That's what they was on when they was kids. Okay. How do y'all deal with the slide out on ice shit when y'all driving? Drift that bitch. Y'all are bad. Y'all are shit though, like, depending on who driving, it's smooth right there. Nigga said drift that bitch. <laughs> you really can't just, like, yeah. drift that bitch if you know what you're doing. That nigga better than what it is. This nigga, that's a nice one. Right down there, we about to go down there to Mountain View after. Now, the school is the motherfucking most diverse in America. It was recognized as the most diverse school in America. That's cool. That's cap. So, like, that's the hood over here. Yeah. yeah. That's cap. Ain't no way that school was labeled as the most diverse school in America, bro. That's cap, bro. What, nigga?
Niggas, these niggas ain't never, I don't know. These niggas ain't never been to New York, Atlanta, LA. <laughs> I don't understand what they talking about with that one. How much money you think they got in there? I don't know, you tell me. 10 bands, nigga. Damn. This mountain view, you feel me? Niggas grew up on Pike Street. I really grew up like all around the neighborhood. We went to Fairview earlier, you feel me? Summer in Fairview, but we all spent a lot of time back and forth. What's the significance of this place to y'all? They're like, like a space. Like, like, okay. Like, this is where you can meet anybody, too. Like, uh, like, that's how you meet niggas from Fairview, you know what I mean? These niggas hanging out in a community center? How you thugging out the community center, bro? Hell fucking no. Ain't no way, bro. These niggas is in their 20s thugging out in a community center. Talking about this is where we thugging. We... That's crazy, bro. I like... Like like I said, again, man, I don't... I don't feel like these dudes is like bad guys. I mean, I don't got nothing against them personally, but morally, like, what's wrong with these niggas, bro? There's something wrong with these niggas, bro. He on crutches. He on two crutches. Mountain View Community Center. You thugging out the community center is meant to bring y'all together and vibe. Why y'all thugging out of there? Like it's all little community right here. Okay. I used to be all night looking, fucking looking through cars and shit. I used to come here at seven in the morning when this bitch opened and sleep on the couch. Bro, so it feels like it feels like there's so many one stop shops here. It was a one stop shop food spot, but it's a one stop shop everything from basketball. Nigga said studio. You said uh, a job center where you could like apply oh, yeah, for jobs. You can go downstairs. Nah, that's lit, bro. You don't even know there's a fucking underground here. Look right over there. That's the house right there too. Right? Yeah, that's right yeah, there. Damn. So it's crazy. So like, if you want to hoop, we can hoop. But if you want some, we go right there. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I'm better off this day than the broken jaws. Nigga, mad you beat him in basketball, then he waiting for y'all here, and now you gotta fight him out here. By the way, while y'all watching this video, I just uploaded this picture right here on Instagram. Everybody, comment on the picture. Here from YouTube, and I'll go ahead and spam your pics. Hey, look, let's see how much likes I can hit. I think my record is like 55. If we can hit 100k likes, I'll be happy as hell. You know what's on my kidney, nigga? Switch, 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 switch. We ain't pull up for no raw rock shit, nigga. We gon' switch his ass. Switch, 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 switch. Whole lot of cops, sir. The folks asking when they're still in. Switch, 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 switch. They had the baby up. Yeah, but what are they throwing up though? Story, bro. We trying to make it out for real, bro. That's it. We all got goals. We all got dreams. We all want to take care of our family, bro. We all want to live the life that we see everybody else living. Respect that. And they used to run around here when you was a kid. I used to be back with all that. Yeah. My pops came out when I was 17, bro. I was homeless, bro. I had shit, bro. Because you was bad as hell, nigga. That's why. It's time to elevate the city. We all need to turn up as one. So we can have everybody else see us as a group. So our kids don't have to go through the same struggle that we're going through right now. Damn, they got barbers out there and shit. Bro, let's be heard. Everyone in Alaska think it's snow, igloos. Let's show them what Alaska really is. At the end of the day, bro, Anchors is just like any other city. We all got talent. We just want the same opportunities as every other state. I respect that too, but to be on some gangster rap shit, no thank you. Yeah, that's the end of this video, man. Smash that like button. If you see what you like, please hit that subscribe button. See you on the next video. JC, we react some out of here, man. Look at me, I'm on. Look at me, I'm on.